The next one is, oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorite Simple Stories holiday collections. Uh, and it is called Dear Santa. Uh, I can tell you guys like Dear Santa as well. It is, um, it is selling really well so far. Um, Karen said, thanks for the suggestion to email them. It would not be a problem for me to compliment them as they are literally my fave company. You can see why. Um, yeah, they do awesome stuff. But you know what? We all need to hear suggestions sometimes, right? right? Sometimes we need somebody to say, hey, have you ever thought about? And then you're like, oh, hey, that's a great suggestion. And sometimes, yes, I have thought about it. Sometimes I haven't. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. That would be simple stories. All right, so Dear Santa. Dear Santa is uh, from the simple vintage side of things. Um, it is like a really great like vintage, but it's like fun vintage, not like serious vintage, if that makes sense. Uh, more like a little bit retro vintage, if that makes sense. You'll see in a sec. Uh, Melissa, can you tell us again about your desk mat? You talked about it Saturday that missed where you get it. Uh, Ikea. That is from Ikea. Uh, and it is, I don't know, maybe about an eighth, eighth, eighth inch thick um piece of i don't know whatever it is but it's awesome yes it is awesome and terry uh terry leto um turned me on to that it's fabulous ikea and they're inexpensive they're under five dollars okay starting with the rub-ons so two six by eight sheets of the rub-ons that is a full pattern now you don't have to use it as a full pattern right you could just cut part of it off or just rub little certain areas and not use the whole thing or you could use the whole thing uh on that's the back side uh, but lots of kind of um, layered, different layered images. I would not, no, just is me personally. I would not use it as the full sheet. I would use like maybe part of that Santa right there. I'd cut this part off at the bottom or, you know, use it, um, use it broken apart, not the whole sheet. All right. Uh, then we have the paper pad. Um, Jennifer said, I'm obsessed with the Dear Santa rub -ons. I know, aren't they good? No, actually, this looks a little bit, when I said it was, not serious. I mean, this is not serious. Well, you know what I mean. Um, this is a little bit more vintagey than we'll see some of the uh, funner, like kitschy vintage uh, in part of the collection, uh, in other parts of the collection. Um, I will tell you, those of you are that are wondering about um, the products that will be in the December documented project kit, there are some products from Dear Santa, okay? Uh, 12 by 12 papers. Uh, 12 by 12 sticker sheet and that is all uh i'm thinking in my head that's all of the product from dear santa that is included in the december documented uh my mail by mail 2023 december documented project kit so if you've been holding off going oh i think i want the rub-ons i think i want the stickers i think i want the washi the only products are 12 by 12 paper and 12 by 12 sticker sheet of uh, dear santa that are included in that project kit okay so starting out with the six by eight paper pad this one kind of reminds me, for some reason, of It's a Wonderful Life. Um, I don't know why, but when I see that, that's what I think. A great, um, super basic plaid. I love this guy. I think it's so, um, I think this one is so, it's so like whimsical. This is one of the papers, 12 by 12, that's included, that I've included in my December documented project kit. Um, which, by the way, you guys, I ordered all that product back in April for my, <laughs> for my December documented project kit this year. Ordered it back in April. Um, there's a really great whimsical, um, kind of neutral, the, uh, scattered polka dot that pattern, uh, for whoever, uh, let's see back again. Oh, Karen. Oh, no. Um, but, but, um, oh, Jennifer, look at very similar to the rub -ons, right? Kind of very similar look and feel that pattern paper. Uh, look at, I love this Santa. Isn't that so fun? That would make a great, just punch holes, put it right in your mini book. Whoopsie, I lost some of my papers. All right, I should probably start going a little bit faster. Uh, the Jingle Bell music sheet. This is great. Look at all that layering is kind of done for you in one piece of paper. Uh, would also make great punch holes, put it in your album. Love the polka dot. Another sheet music. Uh, this one, oh my goodness. This one I love so, so much. Uh, this is actually another one of the 12 by 12 papers included in the December documented project kit this year. Look, fun Santa, right? Oh, this is also one of the papers included in my kit this year, but love that Santa. So good. Um, 
This is also another 12 by 12 paper included in the project kit. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Snowflake and then our cut apart cards. Oh, those, that's fun, little um, ornaments. Another cut apart card. And just kind of a little fun design there. So that is the paper pad from Dear Santa. Paper pad rub-ons, let's look at the sticker book. Um, sticker book, I love the Santa. Uh, the Santa is very fun. Uh, the Santa, you will see, make an appearance on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And it's the sticker sheet from Dear Santa that is included in that kit. So um, the, a couple of the Santas on that uh, 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Look how fun all those Santas are in the sticker book. Some ornaments. Ooh. Ooh, some kind of metal looking stars, metal looking labels, tags, circles, words, and snowflakes. Oh, like little washi that kind of look like little washi bits, right? Um, make a six by eight kit for us with this line. Oh my gosh, Karen, I can't. I can't. I'm already doing a Christmas December document and it would kill me to do another one. It would kill me. I uh, love this sheet so much. This is like everything I love the most of Dear Santa. Um, we'll see lots of this in the die cut packs. Uh, some word strip stickers, little uh, labels, and lots of holly. All right, so that's the sticker book. Let's take a look at the ephemera. So ephemera is always a little bit larger than your die cuts, right? A little bit larger than your regular die cuts. So look at Santa, bingo, COD, cash on delivery. Uh, that little pharmacy thing, guest check with some holly, but I love these pieces. All of these pieces I think make the best, just little accents in your projects, any kind of projects, right? So you'll see me use um, these coming up in our listing, but not. it'll be a while, guys. It will be a while. Um, it will be a while before we get into any kind of Christmas list, right? We gotta wait till November. Another library card, love that so much. Special delivery, Christmas definition, a big ticket. So um, those are your uh, ephemera, larger pieces. And then we move into the layered bits. So the layered bits, um, I love that Simple Stories started doing these. Um, in the past, they really didn't do um, a lot of this in their die cuts. They did it in their cards, the three by four cards that were part of the, like the three by four um, elements, the cut aparts from their 12 by 12. So now you also have them in the die cuts, but look at that. Because I used to fussy cut these kind of things out of the three by four cards because I loved them so much. Just those layered bits, right? So you have like this one, one, two, three, four, five. It's like they layered five different pieces, but it's just one piece. Makes that layering really easy. I know a lot of people get really freaked out um, about layering because you're like, I don't know what to put where, I don't know how to start. So um, a lot of the layering is already done for you in all of these die cuts. Look at that, tinsel, rain, icicles. Oh, I tell you what, it's gonna be interesting this year. Uh, with Reggie, Sam's cat, that is now with us. Um, I don't think a Christmas tree is going to work with the cat. So that will be interesting. We'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. Yes, Karen, just buy it all. You can buy it all in the big bundle too and then save 15%. All right, uh, you have the bits from Dear Santa. So um, these are, well, they're still, you can see, they're still vintage -y, but I think you see more vintage -y in um, kind of that more like kitschy vintage in the layered bits and in the ephemera than you do these guys. Uh, but those are the regular bits and there are 49 of those. That's a great title right there. Nice Merry Christmas and nice joy. All right, let's take a look at the washi. And as I'm pulling out the washi, there is the big bundle. I'm going to sound like a broken record because every time I pull one of these out, every time we look at a collection, I talk about the big bundle. So Big Bundle has just about everything in the collection. You have the foam stickers, the chipboard frames, the chipboard, um, all of the die cut packs, the um, enamel dots, the uh, decorative breads, the washi, pretty much everything, 12 by 12 collection pack. I can't remember if I told you that or not. Um, the only time I wouldn't include everything is if there was a maybe a stamp or something. I'm like, meh. I don't really love that, and if people want that, they could buy it separately, but it helps to keep the cost of the, um, of the thing down. That is the stencil for um, that's included in the big bundle. All right, 
Lots and lots and lots of things. Look at this. Look at those chipboard frames. That's kind of the whole kitschy side. I love the whole kitschy side of, um, of this collection. And it's really the kitschy side uh, of Dear Santa that I brought into uh, the December Documented Project Kit this year that you will see at a week from Friday on the 25th. Okay. Well, you'll see part of it. You won't see all of it. You'll just see part of it for the pre-order. All righty. So, uh, again, five rolls of a washi. Ooh, this one looks like it, like old world Christmas, like German Bavarian town. Love that. Let's get that up there. Really pretty. And then, oh, wow. Uh, so I, I'm just looking at these, you guys, at the same time you are. Uh, what does kitschy mean? Um, kitschy. How do I, how do I explain kitschy? Um, K-I-T-S-C-H-Y. Um, kind of like retro, vintage e, kind of like those little Santas look. That is what kitschy means in my head. I don't know if that really helped, Karen. Uh, I'm not sure if that really helped. Anyone that's watching, uh, if you're in the chat and you want to take a look, a crack at um, describing what kitschy would mean for Karen, that would be awesome. Uh, because that was one example, but I don't know if that really helps, Karen. <laughs> I don't know if that really helps. Um, kind of fun, whimsical, vintage. Um, a lot of times, like 50s, 50s-ish. I love this guy. Look at that. Mer just super plain, merry and bright, merry and bright, merry and bright. So there are the five rolls of washi that are part of that um, Simple Vintage Dear Santa collection. That one, to me, is everything. I love that. The green. Um, music with the little Santas on it. And then just the plain Mary. I mean, they're all great, but 50s nostalgia. 